All right, lads, Alan Babich, the savage, stops Tom Little in three rounds. Now, let's talk about this fight, right? There's not much to say. You know, we kind of know the situation with Alan Babich now at this stage. He is someone who comes out, he throws everything but the kitchen sink at you. You know, the guy does not want to go any more rounds than he needs to. He comes out, he tries to take your head off, right? First two rounds. What kind of first two and a bit rounds? Because Babbage came out as he often does swinging. But Tom Little was doing a pretty good job tucking up and blocking the shots. Right? And to, to his credit, Tom Little, and this is a flaw with Babbage. Babbage will start loading up on these hooks. He'll start swinging. And there was a few times there where Tom Little would just throw a left hook. He didn't have much power on it. But Babbage, with his chin way up in the air, standing as upright as you can be, you know, overexerting the shots, he would no defense and he was getting tipped. Get, they were only kind of like tipping shots, but they were hitting him on the chin. There were a few body shots from Little that were going in there that were decent enough. So Babbage, Little, although he went the same way as Niall Kennedy and as Shondale Winters, for me, he gave the best account of himself out of them three. From my, in my opinion, out of the three, he gave the best account of himself, you know? Having said all that, this fight did go the way the other fights went. Now, Babich, a lot of people have been saying that he's too light, that he really is a cruiserweight. And he came into this fight 214 pounds. So he was a stone heavier than he was in his last fight against Niall Kennedy. And he only fought Kennedy, what, six weeks ago? It, he looked a little bit fleshier. You could noticeably see he was fleshier in this fight. So obviously, Babich is deciding, okay, look... I want to be a heavyweight. I don't want to be, you know, weighing in 199 pounds and then saying I'm a heavyweight. So he's obviously put on some weight. He's obviously packed on a little bit of a little bit of flesh. You know, it has to be said. Didn't really seem to hinder him too much. He seemed the same as always, kind of with regards to his just relentlessness. But again, little flaws that are there. Like he is fun to watch and he will be entertaining. But I always think to myself, you get a count, a good counter puncher with a you know bit of decent power. He is gonna he's gonna light Alan Babbage up. Because he just starts swinging, he's so open, he can be a bit crude with the swings, you know. You just stand there with his chin up in the air, you just have you thinking, you know, if you've got, if you're someone in there who can pop and can counter punch a bit, or even someone who can just box and move, it'll cause Alan Babbage a world of problems, all right. The end kind of, well, it's funny because Tom Little went down kind of at the end of the second round, but yeah, it was called a knockdown, um, and then it was kind of weird the way he went, they just kind of flopped to the ground. Then in the third round, he was dropped again. That one was a little bit heavier, and the referee was close to stopping it. Babbage, Babbage will overwhelm opponents. So like he's throwing shots nonstop. So even if they're getting blocked, a referee is seeing an opponent get shots thrown at them left, right, and center. So they would be inclined to jump in. The referee, to be fair, didn't jump in, stopped the fight. Got stopped near the end of the third round, where you know Tom Little just succumbed to the pressure. He went down, and he stayed down. Tom Little, as I said, he's he is game. He does come to fight. But he just ran into Alan Babbage. It's funny because Alan Babbage, he swings so much, throws so many punches. He seems to almost take it out. Well, you would if you were getting hit this much. But it was the same where kind of Winters was kind of a bit overwhelmed. Uh, Niall Kennedy didn't, irrespective of what, he didn't train properly for the fight. So that was why he was tired. Um, but, you know, Tom Little came in light. You know, he seemed to be in decent shape. So he seemed pretty much finished after three rounds. So Babbage is, he's getting these guys out of there. He's breaking their hearts when he's in there. So, Alan Babbage moves on. Be interested to see who he fights next. He's been one of the most, probably the most active fighter in 2020. You know, he's had a good few fights this year. And, um, yeah, we'll see how he goes in 2021. So, those are my thoughts on this. Let me know yours down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe, of course, if you're new. Hashtag G-Man's Rocks. As always, lads, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you after the next fight. Peace.